Let's check how to make a fat bass uh, sound with a wavetable. So I'm going to go wavetable, just an empty project I have here. So this is the default basic patch of wavetable. I would highly recommend wearing headphones or using uh, uh, speakers for this tutorial because we're dealing with the low end. Uh, we need bigger speakers to actually create this type of sound. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to adjust the envelope. We're going to make it more solid, like comes full force and go away quickly. Nice. Let's make it monophonic because uh, usually bass, we don't want to play multiple notes. And uh, we also want to add glide. In Wavetable, we can only add glide in monophonic mode. Now let's go, and right now we're only in a sine wave, so we don't have many, a lot of content, energy to represent, uh, kind of get more filth and more power out of the sound. So I'm going to switch to a square wave. And right now it's way too bright, so let's filter it. Let's also push it with some analog circuit drive. So let's choose one of them, so like MS-20. Nice, and now we get a nice fat sound. Nice. Now, this is the basic patch. Uh, beyond this, you can do so many things, like add another filter, another circuit, maybe add some randomization to the note and the, and the, uh, the voices, the different waveforms and stuff. Nice, and we're clipping a tiny bit. Let me turn it down slightly here at the output. Which we can also already hear the, the fatness. We can even go to the MIDI and introduce some note uh, key tracking. So maybe for the filter, we can have the filter open up a tiny bit when we go higher and close as we go lower in the keyboard. Uh, so uh, you can even add another oscillator, so many stuff, but uh, this is the kind of the basics of um, a sub bass. One thing you can do to add even more fatness is to add some movement so it's not a static type of sound. With that you can go to the matrix and maybe add, let's say, let's add like uh, some effect here, like warp. Let's try warp and we're gonna LFO the warp. Let's speed it up. Nice, and now it's going to give it a bit more presence because we have some movement. It's not a static sound. We can even do a tiny bit to the filter. Excellent. Uh, of course, you can add whatever effects you want after to boost it, but that's a basic patch for a fat sub bass uh, with wavetable.